Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to read the story, The Tortoise and the Jackrabbit by Susan Lowell and it's illustrated by Jim Harris. The Tortoise and the Jackrabbit. One fine day, the desert was full of springtime magic. Seeds sprouted, eggs hatched, cactus buds bloomed. Ah, said Tortoise, coming out of her burrow, I feel good. I feel fast. Jackrabbit turned one of his huge ears in her direction. Silly Tortoise, he laughed. You drag that heavy shell wherever you go. As for me, I'm free, free, free. Zig, Jackrabbit leaped left. Zag, Jackrabbit sprang right. I'm the fastest runner in the desert, he bragged. Tortoise looked patiently up at him with her old, old eyes. Let's race, she said. Now the other desert animals were gathered around. I'm sure to win, said Jackrabbit. Prove it, said Tortoise. So they agreed to race. I'll mark the course, squawked Roadrunner, and off he ran over the rocky hill, across the dusty flat, pl flat place, under the mesquite trees, to the water hole. I'll draw the starting line, hissed Rattlesnake, as she slithered across the sand. Tortoise and Jackrabbit took their places side by side. I'll watch from above, called Buzzard high in the sky, while Eagle floated silent as a cloud. Eyeing Jack Rabbit hungrily, Coyote volunteered to start the race. One, two, three, ow! Jack Rabbit bolted away. Long, low, leap, ho, he sang. And over the rocky hill he soared in less than no time. Tortoise moved her scaly toes up the slope. Scritch, scratch, lump, thump, she went. Scorpion peeked out from, be from beneath a big rock. Tortoise inched past a blooming prickly pear cactus and she trudged around a giant saguaro. High up its trunk inside a dark hole, Elf Owl opened one sleepy eye. Tortoise rustled through the desert dandelions and golden poppies, purple sand verbena and creamy butterfly lilies. Although she loved flowers, she did not stop. Don't step on us, cried the ants, scattering. I won't, sighed the tortoise in her dry little voice as she lumped and bumped along. The ants are holding a sign that says tea power. That must mean turtle power, tortoise power. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jack Rabbit came to the dusty flat place. Long, low, leap, ho, he said, and he skipped across. As, and he skipped across. By now, he'd left tortoise far behind. Under the mesquite trees, he saw a patch of tender, sweet, delicious grass, and he stopped to nibble it. By the time he had eaten his fill, he felt so drowsy that he lay down in the shade and fell fast asleep. Silencio means silence, quiet. Tortoise plodded down the hill, scritch, scratch, lump, thump. She was tired and hot, but Tarantula waved his eight furry arms to cheer her onward. At last, she too came to the dusty flat place. Help! A terrible fast monster with round black rubber feet. It tried to crush her flap. There was a roar, a smell of burning oil, and a cloud of dust. When the dust settled, Tortoise crept out of her shell. Phew, she said, and she continued slowly and steadily on her way. She passed Jack Rabbit, still snoozing under the mesquite trees. Suddenly he woke up. He saw all the other animals gathered at the water hole. The quails had even brought their children, like little brown eggs on legs. And Tortoise had almost, almost reached the finish line. Jackrabbit flew past light-footed deer, somersaulted over stinky skunk, left Gila monster in the dust, and never even noticed shy kangaroo rat. He high-tailed it faster than ever, past hairy pig-like javelina, and then, whoops, he crashed right into sly coyote and skedaddled. But long, low, leap, 
Oh no! Tortoise scritch scratched across the line first. The desert animals cheered. Oh, thank you, my friends, said Tortoise. Javelina handed the winner a beautiful spring bouquet. There's one of those javelinas. And slowly, happily, Tortoise ate it. There's a little note on this story. The tortoise wins the race in this fable, but real desert tortoises are in trouble. These ancient flower-eating reptiles face two main threats. First, a disease spread among wild tortoises by ones that used to be pets. And second, the destruction of tortoise habitat in various ways by human beings. Jackrabbits, which aren't usually, which aren't actually rabbits, are members of the hare family. They're less endangered than tortoises, yet jackrabbits also need open space in order to survive. The wild desert is a precious place. If it is preserved for future generations of tortoises and jackrabbits and people, we will all be winners. The end.